Right guys, uh, back with part 3. I'm hoping that my microphone actually works on this video. Uh, absolute nightmare with the last one. Fucking nothing wanted to work. I recorded a big intro and everything and it just hadn't recorded so... Fuck knows what's going on there. But uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with the next mission now. Um, I'm not can't remember what it's called but it will come up on the cutscene I think. But yeah, I meant to say as well, Happy New Year to you all. I forgot to say because... Uh, the previous stresses of deleting stuff by accident and all that nonsense, but uh, but you all had a good Christmas and New Year. Uh, to be honest, I'm still suffering myself from drinking far too much alcohol. <laughs> but yeah, let's crack on anyway. Fully able to drive North Korean forces out of Seoul. With an additional division arriving soon, hopes are high that we may finally see a return to peace and stability in the region. Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and that part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, and they've settled their debts. It's up to the living to pick up the tab. And so it is time to say farewell to Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. Yeah, well, imagine if we actually had that kind of gear in the uh, in the army and stuff. That'd be badass. He leaves behind family, friends, fellow Marines, and a grateful nation. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of our own. If you ever need any- Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Son? I want to offer you a second chance. Ms. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. Casually just developed another arm. Two on the terrace. Check that. Three. On you, Mitchell. Drop. Pop your head. Boom. Here we go, boys. Got another one. Shit. 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 <laughs> yes, I'm cut out for this mission, aren't I? <laughs> Do there. Do 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 do. Drop. I figured that if I kill them now, then they can't come and kill us later. Dim, dip, 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 dip. 
Surely there's got to be some intel in there somewhere, isn't there? But the other guy's like, what the fuck's he doing running around the house? Right, right. How do I get in? Uh, yeah, maybe I should follow the, uh, the corner. Oh, what the fuck? What? Literally got no idea what I'm meant to be doing at the minute. We're tracking POTUS in media room, south wing. Copy, drop. We're internal. What, why couldn't I just do that in the first place? Mitchell, toss a threat grenade. Intelligence, intelligence, where are you? Stack up at the door. We'll do this quiet. Get that mute charge ready. Oh, what, what? Who's pushing me? Can you authenticate? Zulu Tango. Okay, please keep your head down and stay close. All right, son. Prophet, we have the package. Moving to the <coughs> Copy Atlas Zero One. Egress to the North Access Road. Copy that. Let's get him out of here. This way. We're detecting drones on the back patio. Let them pass. Oi! Robocop. This gun is shit. Cool little house this is over. Wonder if you can get in the pool. I don't know if that would be enough. Yeah, sorry if I sound a bit rough as well. I, uh, I've got some disgusting throat issues at the moment. But I've uh, finally got my voice back enough to actually talk. I woke up this morning and sounded like a gremlin. I was like... <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Hopefully I'm on the route to recover it. Felt like I needed to uh, whisper then because I have a walking back. We're going yet. Okay, move. Oh, the president. Fancy a spot of golf, dear. Profit, we're approaching the north Money. access road. What's our exfil status? Transport is coming in hot. EPA, one mic. We're gonna have to dig in until our ride gets here. Hold him off! What the hell's wrong with your arm? I'm losing its shit at the minute. Atlas zero one, X Bill is on approach. Pop and smoke. There's our ride! Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh! That sound. Raving. Sloppy, Mitchell. You're a dead man. Reset! No excuse for equipment failure. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears. Use it. 
Everyone return to your starting positions. It was his arm, sir. I knew it was too early. That arm's worth more to me than this entire facility. How's my boy doing? He's a work in progress. Well, keep working. This is a great soldier. It's a sad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. Jump in. I'll give you the tour. Well, then. Let's go for a road with Mr. Spicer. Hopefully it's only a short road because I'm about to run out of time for the video. <laughs> Them graphics. Man. Joker, we're bringing Mitchell over to R and D. Get the sim prep for another run. You got it, boss. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Unlike the government, we don't keep secrets of our capabilities. We don't sell policy, we sell power. We are a superpower for hire. Badass. Power isn't just about the ability to destroy. Atlas has built infrastructures in places like Korea, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. We do in a few years what it takes governments decades to accomplish. In fact, the truth is, we're often more effective than the governments that hire us. As my son found out the hard way. Mitchell, I know you're not in this for the money. You remind me a lot of Will in that way. Now go get that arm fixed. All right, over here. Sweet. Well, I'm uh, gonna have to call it a day there, guys, because I'm running out of time for the upload limit. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry I can't make them longer to be honest, I'd love to uh, get a bit more onto each video but it can't be helped anyway so just keep doing what we're doing. Um, yeah thanks again, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more or if you like what you've seen or whatever and uh, see you in the next video hopefully, take it easy.